Good morning and welcome to the All Around Natural Beauty RN channel. Today is May the 17th, 2023. So we're two days away from the March 633 Pennsylvania Avenue, Capitol Hill, Washington, D.C., where we're going to be marching for Jessica for Shanquilla Robinson because uh, we have to march. We have to vote. We have to do this work to get the justice for Shanquilla Robinson. I'm going to be going live. Um, you guys can see that I've already made the thumbnail for it. So 830, we're supposed to meet there um, on the, at, at the um, the March Capitol Hill, 830 a.m. And I will I shall be going live and giving y'all a play by play and let y'all see. This is my first time to do something like this. And I'm, I'm excited to uh, be a part of this and um share and really get this uh, message going. I just want to give quick shout outs. Video is going to be really super quick. Um, and thank all the people who's been um, purchasing the uh, merch and stuff like that. And I just want to give my testimony about, um, here's here's mine. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, people ask about it and it gives me an opportunity to talk about what happened, you know, uh, to Shanquilla and what we're doing here. So I've got um, you know, patients and co-workers and all that stuff. Um, some, a lot of people already knew about Shanquilla, but then there were people that didn't like, um, there was, I had a white patient who, um, because of the flag, you know what I mean? And that's why I'm now telling y'all that we got to get political, you know, going to Washington, going to Washington to march, we need to be political if we expect to get our voices heard and get some changes, right? It's not about it's not about uh, crying and begging. It's about taking ownership that we are citizens here. Shanquilla Robinson was an American citizen, and she deserves justice for that very reason. So um, uh, Friday, <laughs> this coming Friday. Uh, May 19th, um, we're going to be meeting there, Washington, D.C. And for those of you who aren't going to be able to make it, I will be going live. So please share the live so we can get as many people as possible. I'm hoping that it's going to be a lot of people. I'm hoping that I know that when they gave the news that the FBI wasn't going to do anything, that they had, I guess, kind of a march in um, her hometown. And there were like, you know, maybe four to five people, um, you know, on the corners, you know, getting people to hunk the horns for it. And, you know, it just breaks my heart that when, you know, when this, you know, anyway, I'm just excited that we are getting past the anger and getting moving forward towards the solution, right? So that's why I've been encouraging everyone to um, register to vote and that information will be in the description box. Uh, I will make sure it's there um, for you guys. Oh, <laughs> anyway, y'all know what time it is. <laughs> this, I think I'll probably just make this for members only. Um, nah, I'm gonna do it for everybody because everybody needs to know about this. Um, so we're going to get started. I'm going to just share a few shorts so we can uh, catch everybody up. For those of you who don't know me, I'm 52 years old, proud Gen Xer and mother of three. And we are here lifting our voice, standing under the umbrella of Shanquilla Robinson, just for Shanquilla Robinson. And we now are being faced to have to be political because First, Mexico didn't give us any justice. Um, we thought that we was going to be able to get justice right here. But we see that there's going to be some work required. And the work required is for you to get out there and register to vote. Get off your butt. Stop whining and making excuses for why, you, why you're not going to vote. We need to vote. We need to vote together. We need to come together and vote. Instead of going back and forth bet between why... We don't need to vote or why we don't need to vote this way. There's strength in numbers. So get past yourself. It's not about us personally. It's collectively. And that's what we need to do. We need to unite. Unite. All right. So I'm going to share the screen here real quick. And um, 
play a couple of shorts, and then I'm going to bid y'all, um, you know, a do because I've got to, um, you know, I'm still working and uh, I'll be leaving tomorrow. I don't know if it's going to work right. Let's see here. We'll just pick um, this here when the FBI told us no. Or should I go from the beginning and do <laughs> a Mexico one and then we'll jump to, um, <laughs> we'll jump to, um, I'm just stick with the FBI first since it's already here. I, that's what I looked for anyway. Did I look for that? Anyway, yeah, I'm going to do that. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Okay, here we go. Here's Mexico's first. Since Mexico was first, there is. We go in sequence here. All right. When the doctor Oops. arrived and that she died within oh, yeah. three hours. He says the police report lists her death as cardiac arrest. It doesn't mention the severe spinal cord and neck injury. The police do not have the authority to declare a cause of death. This has to be done by a physician. Here is the clue right here. Here's the red flag. Police report. All right. So even back then, before Mexico released their bogus autopsy, they were going by this here police report, <laughs> right? The autopsy came after we ripped this to pieces. When, when, when I ripped it to pieces to say police report can't declare no cause of death. Police ain't had no medical training. They can't do it. It's not in their scope of practice, right? <laughs> it ain't. It's, it's not within their scope, all right? It was breaking that down that they were saying that at that time. All right, so now I'm going to find this here. Next one here. <laughs> The next one will be, all right, so uh, we was breaking that down. We was going after Mexico, right? We just knowing that we about to get us some um, some justice. We think we're getting some justice. Um, all of a sudden, okay, here goes something else here. I'm going to do another one. This is, all right. And it's, this is the reason why I put it on a video because I didn't want to get distracted. Like this has to be very uh, close. And then I know we'll be all chopping it up over here in the chat and all that stuff. And I need to go to bed. I need to get some sleep. So I'm going to do these. <laughs> That's what I'm doing this video, y'all. Love y'all. Okay. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. And to share the video too. And um, I'm sure uh, Giselle has dropped the petition in the chat somewhere. So please. Sign the petition. I would love to say, you know, that once we, um, you know, go live and go out there to Washington, D.C., that, you know, within one, um, you know, session that we could get, you know, 10,000 signatures to make the 50, it, uh, that would put us past the 50,000 goal. But anyway, um, be mindful of that. Drop the link. Okay, so here go our next video. It says Uncovering. Okay, this here is when Mexico put out their, um, okay, here's one. I, I don't know which one it is, but I know this is the document that Sue Ann Robson came back from her uh, fact-finding mission in Mexico. Uh, so, let's see here. What did, what, what did the doctor say? <laughs> All right, so, let's see. Yes, around 2 p.m. on October 29th, I called, oh, so they didn't even, he's saying he didn't even call the doctor until 2. So, how... Are they already at the villa tending, <laughs> attending Ooh. to Shanquilla? Wow. When around 2 p.m. on October 29th, I called Dr. Blake, who is our contact for medical attention of our guests and whose telephone number is Blank. So he didn't make the call until 2 p.m. However, as we can see here, back November 26th. Wow. That's why it's significant to keep up with these dates and to continue to go back. To continue to go back, right? Because you now we can see how Mexico changed the story up multiple times, right? Multiple times here, all right? Let's finish this up. The news was reporting. <laughs> the news was reporting. 
I see. Okay. Let's see here. What to do? Mm -hmm. All right, let's see if this takes me back. Yay! Okay, it's working. All right, so I'm gonna do um, one or two more. They only need just a minute. Okay, so make that was um, the fake report from Mexico. So now we're just going and go up and uh, do this uh, FBI stuff. All right, so here is the FBI telling us no charges. This morning, CBS News, 15 hours ago. And um, this is what they're talking about. Prosecutors say there is not enough evidence to pursue charges related to the death of American Shinquella Robinson, who died in Mexico last year. The 25-year-old from Charlotte, North Carolina, died on October 29th. Her death certificate listed the cause of death as a spinal and neck injury. Mm. A video posted online after her passing showed Robinson in a violent altercation with... Wow, they, they don't even say the word anymore, technology and altercation. Do y'all see how they trying to manipulate the words? Yeah. And just diminish this? Altercation. With another woman. We're joined now by Salamandra Robinson, the mother of Shanquella Robinson. Salamandra, first of all, we're so sorry for, for your loss. This morning, CBS News, 15 hours. Okay. Then I'll go ahead and do <laughs> one more. So I, I, I'm going to try and make it a 15 minute video of that. But anyway, so this happened here in April. So we go back to the beginning. Things started in November. And they have had all this time to change up the story and all that good stuff. All right, this here, I'm going to save this. <laughs> Save this passion for the lives. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Let's see here. This is Shan Mama. Uh, for your talk. family to hear that federal charges will not be pursued. We was very disappointed. I, I'm sure. Were you surprised? No, but I was disappointed because the simple fact is that they had enough evidence due to the, the um, video that was online. And... Um, they said it wasn't enough evidence, but I don't believe. And then they say that shit, they don't know what. You can see that the mom really don't know how to explain it. And that's why we are coming together, sticking together for justice for Shane Quilla Robinson. So the nurse could tell them, right? Nurses, patient advocates, right? For those of you who don't know, I've got over 30 years of nursing experience. Anyway, so I, you know, my heart goes out to Shane Quilla's mama. Right, because they didn't just spin her around. Can you imagine how dizzy she must have felt when they marched her into the office, the FBI, and said, "There's not enough evidence." So somebody's got to pay. Was the cause of her death? But the cause of her death was due to the fight. See that? What we see how they got her calling into the fight. See, that's why we got to stick to the facts. Math and science in the beginning. In the beginning. We're not going to let them water it down. We're not going to let them water it down. We're not going to let this let them water it down. And that's why I chose the thumbnail that's out there. So we can see. We can see. Y'all see that? They didn't just gaslit this mother so bad to where she just called it a fight. That's why we can't let this go. We got to continue to stand for justice for Shanquilla. They trying to change the narrative here, y'all. And um, she said she, she didn't have a um, a broke neck, and she also died from the... um For your family. All right. Okay. One more, then I'm going to... Uh, no, I think it's two more. These two here. How, you know, there's no um, justice here. For women and especially black women, they, Mexico and the United States, wants us to end our campaign for yep. justice for Shanquilla. No, we can't stop until we get justice for her and her family. Yeah, that is true. That's what they want to. And I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I was really close. I was just like, well, yes, you know, nothing else for me to talk about here. You know, that's that's it. You know, that's why we got to vote, y'all. What 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 else can I do? You know, vote. Deanna says, "L right now, vote." 
they're gonna use that whole sun on the headboard thing <laughs> like Martin did. Come on now. <laughs> I know I started saying all they was watching all this stuff because uh they're um they're the documents, how okay. you know, <laughs> all right, last one, then I'm going to sleepy dream. Here we go. Custom made. The U.S. authorities mm. will not pursue charges in the death of Shanquilla Robinson. That's what the internet said today. And it wasn't just the internet. It was the mainstream news that everybody, you know, is waiting to hear from. They just spewed that out of their mouths and was on to the next story. Yeah. On to the next and story. We they heard nothing. Lights yet. out. They like turn the lights off on this. Y'all done. All right. So April 12th, Acts of Faith, book by Yana Van Zet, copywritten back in 1993, daily meditations for people of color. However, we all believe that it's a daily meditation. That's the main Okay, cool. There we go, y'all. I love y'all, and that's why I came out today because, um, you know, actually, you know, when I get off work, it's I'm going, it's you know, so, and I I didn't go, I didn't go live on the my two days off. I was just tired, y'all. I had so much to do, and I I just I rested, and I did work. You know, I got the business. You know, even when I'm off work, work as a nurse. I'm still, I'm working, <laughs> I'm working, but um, I'm grateful for it. I'm not going to, I'm not griping, but um, I love y'all. Anyway, so I come out with that and I will see y'all in the live where we could, um, you know, communicate on Friday, May 19th, 2023 at 0830, <laughs> 30 in the morning, uh, in the morning. Yeah. Okay. Look at me. Um, in in there so for those of you who are not going to be able to make it tune in right so we're going to be up in there and i'll be you know it's my first time and we'll be doing it together <laughs> i love y'all and see you soon